Well, it's that time again for a brand new KISS project. I'm thrilled to share with you that for the month of April, we'll be working on this beautifully designed project called the No Rain, No Flowers Hanger. It features lovely flower embroideries that are sure to brighten any space. In this video tutorial, I'll guide you through the stitching out of the bottom panel on your embroidery machine and then assembling the hanger using various skills on your regular sewing machine. For the best results, I do highly recommend following the photograph written instructions in conjunction with this video tutorial. The instructions are provided with your purchase. Also, don't forget to check out the KISS Facebook group to find the 30% discount code and all the rules to the monthly competition which you can enter. I'll leave a link for that in the description of this video. If you find this video tutorial helpful, please remember to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we can start. All right, folks, let's begin with the bottom panel now. Hoop up the cutaway stabilizer in the hoop and use uppercase scissors for trimming the batting and fabric. The first step is to place batting one on top of the hoop. Once laid flat, stitch the batting down, then remove the hoop from your machine and trim the batting about one to two millimeters from the stitching. Be careful not to cut your stitching though. Next, you will stitch the place in line for the background. Then place fabric A right side up on top of the hoop covering the place and line and then stitch it down. Now remove the hoop from your machine and trim the fabric about one to two millimeters from that stitching, leaving the excess fabric in the seam. Now, repeat the flip and fold process for the borders starting with the bottom border on the right, then the side border at the top of the hoop, and finally the one closest to the bottom of the hoop. Then embroider the words, no flowers. Then follow the three provided diagrams in your instructions for the corresponding embroidery steps for the flowers.
Once you've completed the stunning embroidery, you can remove your panel from the hoop and trim the seams to about half an inch with your rotary cutter and ruler. Now, set it aside until you have completed the other panel. Well done on getting this far, folks. I will now show you the process of joining your panels together. First, lay out your two panels on a flat surface. Place the two panels right sides together and pin along one edge. Lining up the border seams and taking your time to line up the corners. Now, let's stitch the side seam on your sewing machine. Stitch just inside the outer borderline that is already stitched on the blocks, so the stitching will not be seen on the right sides later. Once completed, open out the stitch seams and iron them flat. Really give them a good press. This next part of the tutorial will guide you through adding loops for hanging. Start by taking out Fabric D for the loops. Fold it in half and sew a 12.5mm half inch seam to create a tube. Open the seam, then using the tip of an iron, press it open. Then turn the loop through to the right side and press it flat, leaving the joining seam in the middle on the underside of the loop. Then fold the loop at half lengthways and iron it, then clip it to secure. Machine base the edges together, then repeat this process for the other side to ensure symmetry. Ensure the bobbin thread matches your top thread. Then make sure the loops are even. We decided to place the loops 2.5 inches, 6.5 centimeters from the border stitching of the hanger. This will depend on the type of hanger you are using. Then stay stitch them in place. To finish off the tutorial, I will now show you how to cut the backing. Place Fabric E backing on your table, right sides facing up. Then position your sewn hanger on top of Fabric E with right sides together. Pin in place. ensuring you leave an opening of about 6 inches, 15 centimeters for turning. Then stitch a half inch seam, remembering to leave the opening.
then trim the seams to a quarter inch and half an inch where the opening is to facilitate easier hand stitching later. Then clip the corners for sharper points when turned. Now turn the piece right side out through the opening. Utilize that pink thing or a chopstick to help push out the corners. Press the piece. Hand stitch the opening closed or alternatively use fabric glue. Give it one last final press and congratulations, your wall hanger is now complete. Thank you so much for joining us in creating the No Rain, No Flowers Hanger. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it both informative and inspiring. Remember, you can find this design and many more just like it on our website, swpea.com. Whether you're a seasoned crafter or just starting out, we have a wide range of designs to suit your style and skill level. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials, tips and creative inspiration. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow crafting enthusiasts. Until next time, happy stitching.